Hey, I'm Jonas. In this video, I will show you all of the main quest chapter clear rewards for the Vander class, and other class in Dragon Nest C. Important note before we start, the maximum main quest chapter for Vander currently consists of 7 chapters, but more chapters may be added in the future. But for the other classes, which include all classes from Warrior to Machina, including spin-off characters, their main quest consists of 21 chapters, plus 8 spin-off chapters, for a total of 29 chapters. Now, without further ado, let's start. There are two types of main quest rewards. The first one is called mid-chapter rewards, and you will receive Warrior's Essentials upon completing a quest line in a main quest chapter. Each Warrior's Essentials box will give you 5 pieces of high-grade Garnet and high-grade Essence of Life, 2500 Warrior Blood, Sweat, and Tears or BST points for short, 50 Gold Lotus Crown, and 1 pouch of Argenta's Dragon Jade Support Item, which contains 30 pieces of each type of Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jade Fragments. The second one is obviously called Chapter Clear Rewards, and the rewards vary from chapter to chapter. Okay, let's start with the Chapter 1 Clear Rewards. Here are the rewards you'll receive once you've cleared Chapter 1 of the Vander Main Quest. The most notable rewards you should pay attention to here are the Title Reward, which will improve your collected title stats upon usage. If you want to know more about all Main Quest Title Rewards, you can check this video to learn more about them. The second notable reward is the Kilo's Armor Set Pouch. This armor set will significantly boost your stats, making your main quest progress much easier and faster. Now, moving on to Chapter 2, here are the rewards you will get. Among these rewards aside from the title reward, the most notable one is the Kilo's Tier 1 Armor Enhancement Hammers. You will receive 5 hammers that can enhance Kilo's armors to plus 3. Additionally, you will also get 5 hammers that can further enhance Kilo's armors to plus 6 once you've already enhanced them to plus 3. Now, moving on to Chapter 3, here are the rewards you will receive. Similar to Chapter 2, you will receive another set of Kilo's Tier 1 Armor Enhancement Hammers. You will obtain 5 hammers that can enhance your Kilo's armor from plus 6 to plus 9. Additionally, you will also receive 5 hammers that can further enhance Kilo's armors to plus 12 once you've already enhanced them to plus 9. Now, moving on to Chapter 4, here are the rewards you will receive. Similar to the rewards from Chapters 2 and 3, you will receive another set of Kilo's Tier 1 Armor Enhancement Hammers to enhance your Tier 1 Kilo's armors from plus 12 to plus 15, and even up to plus 20. Additionally, you will receive 5 pieces of Needle of Intellect, which you can use to evolve your Tier 1 Kilo's armors to Tier 2. Furthermore, you will also receive one pouch containing Ancient Weapon Set, specific to your class.
지금 바람 부족하거든요. 그래. 현업을 사막에 부는 모래 폭풍은 실로 장. In summary, you will end up with tier 2 kilos armors and ancient weapons starting at plus 0 enhancement level. Now, moving on to chapter 5, here are the rewards you will receive. Chapter 5 clear rewards include another set of kilos armor enhancement hammers, but this time for kilos tier 2, similar to chapter 2 where we received enhancement hammers for tier 1 kilos armor. As you can see, we have the enhancement hammers to upgrade tier 2 kilos armors from plus 3 to plus 6. Additionally, you will also receive 31 pieces of Lunar Eclipse Stigmata, which will be useful later on when you're crafting and evolving your Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jades. Moreover, you will also get a pouch containing enhancement hammers for your ancient weapons, allowing you to enhance them from plus 3 to plus 12. Now, moving on to chapter 6, here are the rewards you will receive. At this point I'm assuming you already got the reward pattern here. Again, you will get another set of tier 2 kilos armor enhancement hammers that will enhance your current plus 6 tier 2 kilos armors to plus 9 up to plus 12. You will again receive 31 pieces of lunar eclipse stigmata, and another pouch containing enhancement hammers for your plus 12 ancient weapons allowing you to enhance them to plus 15 up to plus 20.
Now, moving on to the final chapter, which is chapter 7, and here are the rewards you will receive. You will receive the final set of tier 2 kilos armor enhancement hammers that will enhance your current plus 12 tier 2 kilos armor to plus 15 up to plus 20, and again, you will receive another 31 pieces of lunar eclipse stigmata. So the total of lunar eclipse stigmata that we got is 93 pieces. And since our ancient weapons are now at plus 20, the pouch that we get this time is a full kit of frozen heart jade's evolver. Okay, now that our tier 2 kilos armor is at the plus 20 enhancement level, and I've opened the Frozen Heart Jade Evolver set, you might be wondering how to use these items. To use the items we received from the Frozen Heart Jade Upgrade Pouch set, we obviously need Frozen Heart Jades. There are two ways to get them, it's either we craft them using gold and some material, or we could just do the Veteran Quest, Frozen Nest 1, 2, and 3, to obtain the 6 Frozen Heart Jades that we need, in order to be able to use these upgrade kit that we got for frozen heart jades. Okay, to do the frozen nest 1, 2, and 3, we just need to kill the first boss in the first stage of Balkiv, Muertos, and Brynhild nest. At this point, it would be nice if there's someone to help you clear these tasks. So it becomes easier if you have a friend or a guild mate who is willing to assist you with these tasks. And if you don't, I will show you the prerequisite on how can you solo these tasks. The only requirement needed is you must already done doing the Novice Beginner's Guide. Completing the Novice Beginner's Guide will grant you access to accessories, Starter Lunar Eclipse Dragon Jades, Heraldries, Talismans, and Conversion Costumes. These items will significantly boost your character's stats and damage. You can watch how I did it in this video, so be sure to check it out. Links are provided in the video description below. First we will start on doing the Frozen Nest 1, which is located in Balkiv Nest. First, we would have to go to St. Haven. Important note, this direct teleport feature to St. Haven is unlocked upon completing your awakening quest. So, if you're currently following the guide, it should be unlocked for you now. Upon arriving at St. Haven, Go and talk to ticket agent Sorin, who is located in this part of St. Haven, and teleport to Calderock Village. Don't you want to go somewhere far away for a while? Hope to see you again. Okay. Now that we're in Calderock Village, we will need to gather the three entry tickets for the three frozen nest stages, starting with Scout Fergus, who is located in this part of Calderock Village. Now that we got the first ticket, let's find the ticket agent NPC, and go to Prairie Town. Don't you want to go somewhere far away for a while? Now we need to find an NPC named Vigilante Leader Steve to get the second entry ticket. It is up to us to protect our town.
Now, that we got the second ticket, let's find again the ticket agent NPC, and go to Mana Ridge Village. Now, we need to find an NPC named Sorceress Terra to get the third entry ticket. Oh, I was so lost in my thoughts. I didn't realize you were here. Now that we got the three entry ticket, let's find again the ticket agent NPC and go back to Calderock Village. Don't you want to go somewhere far away for a while? Okay, now we need to go to Crystal Stream. The portal is located in this part of Calderock Village. Now, the portal for Balk of Nest is located here. For the difficulty, we will select the lowest one, which is Labyrinth 11. Upon killing the stage 1 boss, we're now done with Frozen Nest 1 task. Like I mentioned earlier, we do not need to clear the entire nest, we just need to defeat the stage 1 boss of each Frozen Nest. Now, it's up to you if you want to continue the nest or leave and do the next one which is the Frozen Nest 2 task. But in my case I will clear Balkov Nest. Okay, now that I've cleared Frozen Nest 1 task, and cleared Balkov Nest. Let's now go back to town and get the rewards. Now, open your mail and receive the two epic grade Frozen Heart Jades. These jades can only be equipped on the Kilo's helmet and Kilo's upper body. Now, let's go back to Crystal Stream and head to the next Frozen Nest stage. Okay, let's now go to Crystal Stream's southern gate and head to Wind Forest. Now, the portal from Muerto's nest is located here. For the difficulty, we will select the lowest one, which is Labyrinth 11. Upon killing the stage 1 boss, we're now done with Frozen Nest 2 task. Like I've said before, it's up to you if you want to clear the whole nest, but this time in my case I will leave the nest and return to town to receive the rewards. Now, open your mail and receive another 2 epic grade Frozen Heart Jades. These jades can only be equipped on the Kilo's lower body and Kilo's gloves. Now on to the last task which is Frozen Nest 3 task. Let's go back again to Crystal Stream and head back to Crystal Stream's southern gate, and this time we will go to Blizzard Plain.
Now, the portal for Brynhild Nest is located here. For the difficulty, we will select the lowest one, which is Labyrinth 11. Upon killing the stage 1 boss, we're now done with Frozen Nest 3 task. Now, I could continue this nest but in this case I will leave the nest and head back to town to get the last two Frozen Heart Jades in the mail. Now, open your mail and receive the last two epic grade Frozen Heart Jades. These jades can only be equipped on the Kilo Shoes. Okay. Now that we have the 6 epic grade frozen heart jades, we can now use these item to evolve these jades into ancient grade frozen heart jades. And there you have it. We have completely discussed all main quest chapter clear rewards for Vander class. You might be wondering now, what if my main character class is not Vander? Let's say your main class could be a cleric or a warrior. Will I get the same main quest chapter clear rewards as for Vander? The answer to those question is yes. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Vander's main quest consists of only 7 chapters, while for the other classes, their main quest consists of 29 chapters but the chapter clear rewards are the same. For example, if you complete the main quest for any of these character classes, you will receive the same rewards as we did for the Vander class. And here is the chart of rewards for each chapter of the main quest for these classes. The bottom line is you will get the same reward just like for the Vander class, the only edge of Vander in this case is Vander class has only 7 main quest chapter, while the rest or other class has to clear 29 chapters of main quest. You might be asking, is it worth it to clear the whole main quest? For your main character, yes. For your sub character, no, unless you need the plus 20 tier 2 kilos armors, plus 20 tier 1 ancient weapons, and the free frozen heart jade ancient grade evolver. And if you've skipped your main character's main quest or your sub character's main quest, or you've already cleared the main quest of your character before, then you can't retake it, therefore you will not be able to get the rewards. Before you go, please leave a like, share this video with your friends, and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the comment section below.